the blockchain technology have opened the possibility, together with a complex cryptographic structure, to the creation of, of new money. The new money is represented by digital currencies. In the particular case, we start analyzing the Bitcoin. What coin means on the market? First of all, we have to think about what fiat currencies represent. In, in extreme synthesis, a fiat currency represents the trust that the people has on its government about the value of money. So, the, the money, the use of money, usually are first the accounting use. Thanks to money, you can measure the value of goods and services and properties. Second, it, it is needed in the economy in order to make the exchange between goods and services. For example, if you buy a diamond ring for your fiancé, you go to the jeweler and there you thanks, he receive your money and you can purchase the diamond ring. But finally, the most important function of money is obviously to store wealth through time. So you have three functions that are essential in money. During the last 20 years, however, we have seen central bank that went crazy. They went completely out of control. If you look at, inje at the injection of money in the system, it has been during the time, especially during 2000, 2007 and 2010 for the <clears throat> subprime crisis, and then during the pandemic, the injection of money has been as skyrocketed the market. So the amount of money, of the offer of money in circulation have soared to unbelievable, unbelievable levels. So, casually, uh, Bitcoin was created or was or started to, to function during this time, 2007-2010. But then, especially during the pandemic, its value skyrocketed up to almost $70,000. But let's analyze Bitcoin. First, uh, there, there is a limited amount of, of units that are clonable in the system. So we won't have more than 21 million of Bitcoin because it is the maximum number of units that can be created. Second, it is able to store value. And then in some places it can be used as money. So it can serve as unit of measure of value of good and service and it can be used in order to make the exchange. So probably in some country you can go with your electronic wallet and you can buy a diamond ring with your Bitcoin. At this point we have a digital currency that started to compete with fiat currency. But then, then the evolution went on. So as, it, as Bitcoin was a good idea, it was the idea was copied with many <laughs> other digital currencies that had been created after Bitcoin. For example, Ethereum. Ethereum is another digital currency that acquired value and in a certain way is competing with Bitcoin and with the fiat currency. And if you go to Yahoo Finance, probably you will find more than 10,000 digital currency. So the question is, what will be or what will be the future of all these digital currencies that have been created? Well, probably few of them will keep their value in time and most of them will end in nothing, probably. We don't know. We don't have, unfortunately, the crystal ball, so we don't know how the future is going to be. 
Anyway, the, the question is, how government are facing the digital currency treat? Why? It's a treat in a certain way, because you have digital currency that are competing with the fiat currency. So the politicians are always keen enough or smart enough in order to find a way or a more efficient way to spend public money. So immediately throughout the world, not immediately, but after, when they realized that probably digital currency was a good business, they started to talk about the possibility to create a digital currency. There are countries that have already implemented some digital currency and probably the most important currency of the moment, for example, the US dollar and the euro, soon will see their digital version. So we will, have, we will enter in a new scenario where we have private digital currency competing with public digital currency. But what does it mean for a government to have a digital currency? Well, it will be faster the use of the or the implementation of, of monetary policy. It, it will be much faster. For example, if they want to increase the monetary base with a simple click of computer, it will go, the, the, new, mo the, the new money creation, it will go directly into the veins of the system. So it will be much faster. But at the same time, it will acquire a lot of control over the citizens, over everybody. Right now, you can have some bills in your pocket, but if the system will turn from fiat currency to digital currency, it will change completely. So the identity of everybody will be known as their wealth, as what they have. So there will be a lot of information that the different government will gather over its, their citizens. At the same time, there will be a loss of privacy, privacy, a very important loss of privacy for everybody on the planet. So, from a government point of view, obviously this is, a, this is an advantage. They can face and contrast in that way also the criminality, in that sense. But at the same time, they will have more control on their citizens. But the point will be, or what we have to think about, how the different government will deal with other digital currency that are competing with the legal one. And now we are facing a, a, a big dilemma uh, that we have to answer. Does Bitcoin and other, digi and other digital private currency will be able to stand together with the public digital currency or the governments, the different governments on the planet will start to make, to make war against the dollar, against the Bitcoin and the private digital currency. So we are on the brink of the death of uh, Bitcoin and the other private digital currency or there will be a future for both the public one and the private one. What do you think about that? Is that a risk? Are you an owner of Bitcoin or other digital currency? Do you consider that you are, you are facing a risk or the future will, will, will be bright for both systems? What do you think about that? But remember, first of all, there is my book on inflation. You, you will find the way to, to purchase it in the link where you will find all the answer you need about inflation. And please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends.